Hello and welcome to the Jekyll Hyde Club. Today we are doing a Godzilla like collection show from our collectibles from the 50s to now. And if you're into Godzilla, old horror movies, or even like giant lizards and dragons and scary monsters, you will enjoy this. Um, I am Morticia. If you're new, this is our roommate Slappy of the Goosebumps. And my husband Gomez. Hello. Hello. And if you guys are new, do subscribe, hang out with us, check out our videos because we keep it creepy all year in various ways. So check out our playlist and see what we're doing. And let's see, we're going to start with my favorite. It's a Godzilla brooch from the 50s actually and it shows the original Godzilla obviously because it's from the 50s. It was actually made in the 50s. So I like having old things and that's cool. Um, it was on sale on eBay, um, like 50 some dollars. It was broken so I got the guy to give me a little bit off. And I made it into a pendant, which if you're curious how to do that with broken brooches, I actually have a video DIY for that where I use a giant lizard brooch, but not Godzilla. Um, so anyway, I just put wire around the back where the brooch backing is and then like looped it on top to make a pendant, so it's all good. And I might make it into a zipper pull, but anyway, right now it's a pendant, so I've had him for a minute. He's about two inches in some and he's metal, so that's nice and durable and he's got cute little feet and you can see his tail they didn't make him 3d so I'm glad they brought the tail around to the front like that so who is next next we have Anguirus oh that's Gomez's favorite yes he's like a turtle with spikes if you guys haven't seen the movies and sometimes he's Godzilla's friend and sometimes he isn't they just get moody shall I do his posability yes good here Yes, perfect. Okay, his legs just have hip rotation. And I don't know why, because you really can't do much with the positioning. Like, if you try, it's not like he'll really stand up that well, so I don't get the point. But he's got cute little chubby feet, though. Like that one. And his arms slash front feet do the same, just shoulder movement, no rotation, just up and down. His tail does not move, his head does not move. He came from Kmart. He's got nice teeth, though. He came from Kmart like um, maybe 10 years ago. And so did this lovely Rodan, who doesn't love a bird head with horns, right? Oh, he's got like a cool flaring tail. A lot of these remind you of like dinosaur versions, you know, of different things like a pterodactyl or a um, pteranodon or something, but they didn't have these kind of horns, so he's special. He's got the cool wings with the claws. The wings do not move. His He doesn't have the um, ankle. I mean, the, he doesn't have the hip rotation, but his, like, he has, like, it starts at the knee where his feet can go out like this. Or they can go like that. And when you try to turn, you have to kind of keep him like this or he'll fall when he's standing on a table. And if you go like this, he falls, like, flat down. So I don't, again, know the point with why they would make him posable when you really can't use it. But he's got the cool spines on the back of his feet and he just looks very awesome. His head will turn to the side so he can glare in either direction or forward. He's very pretty and well made. And now we go to the lovely, beautiful King Ghidorah. King of the skies. Who doesn't love a three-headed dragon even if for some insane reason you're not into Godzilla? He's got two tails and they turn as one. They just have the tail uh, side to side rotation at the top. They've got the pretty fans. These are like made from the original kind of versions which I like. And he came around the same time. No, actually he's a little bit newer. Did you do it by one line? So no, we no. got him in... One of the stores in the mall, I just cannot remember. Maybe Toys R Us. He's got the three heads. They don't do anything, no neck swivel. But the wings have like, they can go this way, they can go back like this. They can do all kinds of fun stuff. So I like that and they're made well. It's not like you're gonna break it trying to move it. I really get annoyed when action figures are made in a way that you supposedly can move it around, but when you do, it breaks. But these are all made really well. Lovely and great scaling detail on beautiful King Ghidorah. I always thought he would have to beat Godzilla, even though I love Godzilla the most. Godzilla is like my second hero after Freddy Krueger, and I would love to just ride around on Godzilla's back while he smashes all the unnatural vehicles and other things that are anti-nature in the world. Yes, like this. <laughs> um, and I just love Godzilla, but Gomez managed to play 
Ghidorah and Godzilla, and um, he had Godzilla beat Ghidorah, and I was like, wow, you'd think Ghidorah can just swoop down and get him, but he had Godzilla jumping up and getting him with his tail, and it was cool. <laughs> I mean, I love Godzilla. I do want him to win, but I just wasn't sure how that was going to work against Ghidorah. Now, this one came from the newest Godzilla movie about six years ago, and I had to get it because it's huge, and it looks a lot like the old one. A lot of the um, Godzilla figures that came out over the years look drastically different in shape and um, body structure from the original one from the 50s, which annoys me because to me, it's not really a Godzilla. But this one was pretty close to the original, like so I like that, and because it's big, and he has just, uh, again, shoulder up and down movement, and this is another reason I had to get him. You can move either of his legs. He has hip rotation in both legs, just up and down, but when you do it... <laughs> Doesn't he have a beautiful voice? He sings so lovely like a nightingale. Yes. And his ice ray pops out, so I was like, oh god, I have to get that, yes. So he is lovely, and I love the uh, movement there, and his beautiful mouth, and just all the nice detail. And he tends to go off easily when I move him around to put him places, but it's okay. Just beautiful, isn't he? Yes. And again, like the others, he's well made. And then we have Rodan, and he came around the time in Guiris, and, um, oh, why did I say Rodan? Um, Jagan. Jagan, yeah, he came around the time in Guiris, and Rodan did. I'm sorry, I was thinking about when we got them all. So his tail has mid-swivel here, and he has got cute, like, double fork thing on the end. And then he's got these cool, like, leg spines, so if he manages to knee you, you're also screwed. <laughs> like, in the middle here, I like that, and the pretty claws here. He has... Um, kind of like feet that remind me of Ghidorah in a way with the dragon three claws and then the back spine here. Is that showing? Yes. Okay, anyway, he has the full leg um, movement at the hip, which just goes up and down. The arms actually go more side to side instead of up and down. He has the side twist, and he's got this three-finger claw grip that you don't want to be caught in. Yay, I love these monsters. They're just all so deadly in that beautiful face. Looks kind of little in the maw, but if it grabs you, you're gone. And his head does not turn, but I just like the fans on the sides and just, he's got a neat looking um, monster head construction. His wings have side movement pretty much, like they just go out like that, try to get him to go forward somewhat, and then they go all the way back, like that. So that's his movement, and again, he's made very well. And now we go full circle back to the 50s, where we started with the original Godzilla brooch. This figure was not made in the 50s, but it is constructed, uh, um, you know, just like the ones, it's the Godzilla from the 50s. So that's how you know what the real one looks like. If any of you have only seen the later ones that don't look right, this is the real Godzilla. Such a beautiful creature. I love the fact that he kind of, um, you know, is into nature and smashes all the annoying things that are not natural that people are doing. And when you're in a traffic jam, just imagine Godzilla slamming all the cars out of your way and you'll feel better. Godzilla just soothes my soul. He makes me happy. Speaking of that, I'm going to include a link to one of my favorite songs by a band who makes a lot of cool spooky songs, Blue Oyster Cult, and they have a song called Godzilla. Most of you probably know it, but if you don't, you should. It's about all the beautiful rampant violence Godzilla does in Tokyo. He smashes everything. It's awesome. So I'm leaving a link to that. It just tells the story of Godzilla's awesomeness and how people are like screaming when he's throwing buses and everything. Okay, his arms just move up and down again at the shoulder. No head, but his legs go up and down. And his tail swivels at the top rather than the middle. We got him from an anime store, comic store. And he is also made very well. Lovely, lovely. So, that is our Godzilla collection. I need to get, my other two favorites are Mothra and Batra because moths and bats, yay. Um, so, I need to get those and I will, like, eventually it's on the list of things. You know, we all have these lists where we keep meaning to buy stuff and then we keep forgetting or buying other stuff or, like, whatever. So, anyway, he will be, those two will be next in our, like, toy collection, hopefully, eventually. But that's our Godzilla collection as it stands for the moment. Of course, we have all the old movies and whatnot and like they're just good to watch just like fun i love even the old black and white stuff because it's still godzilla and it's old and awesome and they use the garage door for his sound that's so interesting like in the movies so anyway that was a fun little thing and we hope you guys enjoyed and it's just fun to show old movie stuff around this time of year so we thought some fun monster collectibles would be fun to show 
So until next time. Stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> <laughs>